Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction to But we are halfway through the season. Um, it's been really good so far. Really intrigued to see what's going on with Robot and what he's planning. Uh, how Team Teen is going to be taking over the new Guardians of the Globe. When an Omni-Man is going to be outed because I, I know that uh, discount... Uh, Hellboy is on his trail and apparently he wasn't sent back to hell because at the end of last episode he was kind of like in a closet or something so I don't know what's going on with that but instead of here, sitting here theorizing we're just gonna watch it so without further ado your latest reaction to Invincible starts now well, that was a perfectly good jacket oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Don't be stupid, kid. I'm cutting you. You were being you, you were stupid. Go. Oh, it's the guy from the first episode. I surrender. Being late because you were late. Town to get cheesecake. Is that crazy? There's a place on Third and Parkland. They'll put you up for a few weeks. Oh, what is this guy's deal? Is he an anti-hero? Now what? Mark, Stead supervising his. Uh... <laughs> oh, that is funny. See, now he'll tell me everything. Okay, but you're gonna catch him, right? He's gonna wait a little bit. In a second. I mean, he's not wrong. He will tell you now. Batman did a similar thing in Justice League. I like this guy. <laughs> Discount Ultron up in here. Ported Italian maple. <laughs> I feel bad for him, but still, that sucks. Mark. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. That's my boy. He's watching the elephant rob the store, not stopping it. He calls himself. Just adding more blood. Let's just put a door there. Don't you leave that door. That's <laughs> that's a pretty cool power. It's some bullshit. It's not a problem <laughs> either, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's really cool how they're connecting these two stories. Oh, this this episode's been really good. Welcome to the world of the living. This again? She's trying to buy herself some time. Italian maple, by the way. No way. <laughs> Is that what you think? So? Oh god. They've got their own Injustice League. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Oh, he's watching him. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh he's popping off. Who's next? Jesus Christ. Oh, he was about to go ham. Oh, the Guardians of the Globe. Cecil got an anonymous call. Oh, from Omni Man. Oh, God. All of them couldn't take him down. Oh, my God. God damn! Brutal! God! Oh 
God. Uh, no. Oh my God. Oh, they are pissed. Really? Nice and soft Gonna leave him there like that? I made sure of it. Aw, I thought Mark would be here tonight. He really did. Bro, Mark is dying right now. And his dad watched the whole thing happen. Jesus Christ. His dad is gonna be so mad. He like I freaking told you. Jesus Christ, really? Daddy. He wanted it to be at the top. I mean, he's doing it for a good reason, but still. God, I did not see that one coming. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, there's more. Viltrumite cells don't give a damn. They just won't die. We'll keep trying. They're trying to find a way to kill Omni Man. Blood's still the answer. They're trying to find a way to kill Omni Man. That's why they need him. They're not trying to kill Mark. I know they're trying to kill Omni Man. That's what that's for. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. There you all go. There is my latest reaction to Invincible. This is probably my favorite episode so far. Man, that twist at the end with Titan was insane. I knew he was... I, I didn't even think he was up to anything. I'm not even going to try and say that. Like, I thought he was legitimately just trying to take him down. But it makes sense when you... Looking back at, you know, the themes of the episode and the message that Titan was trying to get across. Even if he didn't mean to get it across. Like, it makes sense that Titan would want to be at the top after everything he's seen. And make sure that if someone's going to be in power, it's going to be someone that he knows will be able to do good with that power and that's what he says he's going to do whether he actually does that is to be de determined but um i don't think you know i think i don't think he's a villain i think he's definitely an anti-hero i don't think if he had told mark like what he really wanted if he really would have helped because mark would have asked his dad for advice and his dad would have been like no he's using you which his dad in a way was right he did you know use mark and I think he didn't use them in a malicious way, though. Like, they legitimately took down a bad guy, and um, people got hurt and potentially died along the way. But uh, that was an insane last few 15 minutes. That was insane. Um, I'm really, really surprised uh, Omni-Man didn't step in. I thought that that's what they were going to do, just have him watch for a bit, let Mark get his ass handed to him for a little bit, and then Omni-Man step in. That way he still had, you know, the chance to be like, I told you so, but he didn't step in at all. I think he wanted to teach Mark a lesson and to show him uh potentially what could happen if you don't listen to my advice or maybe it was also because he was hoping some of the new guardians of the globe would be killed off along the way too um i wouldn't be surprised considering what he did earlier on in the season the very first episode so i'm um, really intrigued to see what's going on there i'm really excited for next episode and i guess with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new if you want to be notified every single time i upload a new invincible reaction don't forget to hit that notification bell full reaction will be linked to my patreon down below uh, if you want to follow all my social media links to that will all be down in the description as well thank you to my current patrons your guys support really does mean a lot to me and with all that being said i will see you guys in my next reaction to invincible <laughs>